All right. Well, since we're on the druid here during the stream, and at least went and got him that staff and the cloak, we're going to go ahead and just record this during a live stream, which is the next session of my Cataclysm character. This guy is locked to the Cataclysm time walking campaign. This is the second episode of this character. I'm actually recording before the first one has aired, but that's all right because this will air a week from now and a lot of people who don't tune into the streams will watch these in episodic format. So I've got a different character for each timeline leveling up because these are all new to me. So I haven't played, I played some of the base stuff in classic, but I haven't played um, Cataclysm, Missipendaria, Legion, and Warlords of Draenor. So I've got characters for each one of those. And my Night Elf Druid is the one I'm doing through Cataclysm. But to get to Cataclysm, you first have to level up to level 30. So once they start you on the quest line, um, you can go out and just do it wherever you want. Or you can do what I did and pick one of the um, locations that you would like to quest Greetings. to get to level 30, essentially. Um, I've done Duskwood a bunch of times during Classic, so I'm not going to be taking the time to like read through all these quests and everything. Because I've done these a whole bunch before. Some of them I might. But mostly I'm just going to be cruising through because I want to get to the Cataclysm content, which is the stuff that's new. We've been walled up for far too long. Help me get to the bottom of this. Long live Greymane. <laughs> Some of this might be a little different than um, Classic. So as I come across stuff that's different, I will be taking the time to be like, oh... I don't remember this. I do have this guy specced as a Good day to Moonkin you. Balanced you Druid. Safe travels. And I'm still sort of learning the rotation. Alright, looks like we can just go down the road here. However, I need to untrack this one. Let's do this one. The Hermit, actually. Let's go back this way. I like the dark, gloomy forests more than I like, like, what is it, the Red Hill Mountains or whatever they're called? It's way too bright. And I like, I like the dark places. What can I do for you? Drustfar was awesome in Battle for Us. I would happily play through. Matter of fact, you know, that's something I might do with my tank since I'm doing that guy offline. I might just take him through Battle for Azeroth again because I really enjoyed that storyline. Gonna beg you to run some errands for a poor old hermit. Welcome, Right Shoe, to the Twitch channel. Don't forget, we are multi streaming on YouTube and Twitch, so you can check us out in both places. And my day to day day job is YouTube content creation, so make sure to check out that channel because all the guides come out over there. Trishfall is your favorite zone, says Valus, but Duskwood is a second, close second. Collect the bundle of shredded letters from Brightwood Grove. How are you? See you around. You need something? Have a good one. Alright, now we're back. Madam. Need help? 
ghost hair threads what you need, is it? I'm afraid I've none in stock, but I can make some for you if you can supply the ghost hair. Go with honor, friend. There's a poor, sad spirit, blind Mary, who haunts an old farmhouse in the hills south of Darkshire. Take this spectral comb and ask blind Mary to comb her hair. Then bring back the comb, and I'll gleam from it the ghost hair I need for the thread. But take care, for dark things now lurk near that house. Safe travels. Dun dun dun. Dark things. Well, I have three quests in the same area, so it sounds like we might want to run down in that direction. I wonder if this place will get you all the way to level 30 now. The way they've done all the scaling. I feel like it's got to, because I'm already... I mean, I just started, and I'm going to ding level 13 here in a little bit. I was going to say, I heard spiders! Now, if I remember correctly... That charges up Wrath, and if I use Wrath two times, it charges up the star thing again. Yep. You gotta remember this rotation, it's gonna be fun. But I also got these two dots. I like the way this character plays so far. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. We gotta be in Moonkin form too, man. I forgot we got our form the other day. I gotta say, the uh. Boomkin's pretty badass. Let's just melt all the things. nice thing is the heal doesn't take me out of my form. That's very nice. Um, is that a good belt? It's way better than the one I've got. So that's a yes. I need to make myself some gear. <laughs> Mad Oh, uh, That's awesome, man. Mad Foo. <laughs> oh, that's great. I wanted to do Renfu when I made my monk the other day, but it was taken. Boo. I'm listening. Right. Yes, I used to own a looking glass. It's one of my finest treasures until the uh, incident. All right. Embrace the shadow. We gotta get the comb. If only I had a Our burn. time will come. Beware. All right. Our enemies abound. Let's go do the looking glass.
Darling. What'd you give me? Shooting stars. Moonfire and sunfire damage every time it's a chance to call down a falling star. That sounds badass. Oh, but solar beam also sounds badass. Um. Shit. I could see that being super, super good for, uh. Look at that. It interrupts the target and silences all enemies within the beam. I don't need that right now. That's nice. I'm going to take shooting stars. Which also gave me revive. Is like a res? It is. Okay, cool. for my cats. Smeagol at my office door. He really wants to come in, and it's like, no, buddy, because I gotta go, we gotta go grocery shopping after I wrap up my uh, session this morning, and I don't like it's not I, I don't like interrupting them when they're sleeping. So it's like if he comes in here, he'll just go to sleep, and then I'll have to move him when we leave because I don't I can't leave cats in the office, and I hate to do that. So I'm always just like, no, on the mornings we go to the grocery store. It's like, dude, you just need to go sleep in a window or something. He gets all cranky. He's like, I don't want to sleep in a window. I want to sleep in the office with you, Dad. It's my chair. Can I not do that spell inside for some reason? Or did I have an effect on me? I couldn't cast Starfire inside. Is it because it was an inside of a building thing? That was weird. Fella says the one thing I do not like about Desku's days is what they did is stitches. I. Yeah, that doesn't... It's not something I even pay attention to, to be honest with you. These old zones look really big, and why am I not using my mount? I didn't realize they made a distinction between indoor and outdoor for um, these buildings. That's interesting. For the alliance, be careful. Kill Zarkul in the Southern Ogre Man. For the Alliance. And collect the monocle. Well met. I am not, Ross. I have a Light full plate. Bless you. Be careful. That's not on my agenda at the moment. 
Farewell. Right now I'm doing guides around my characters, and I'm doing this. Right now I started the series last night. Um, I'm unlocking all of the the races, like all of the like. Right now I'm doing alliance. So like last night I did the Void Elf, and then I'm gonna do the Dark Iron Dwarf, and then I'm gonna do the Cool Tyran, and I'm just doing all of those, and I'm recording those as episodes, like guide episodes. Everybody has probably done those quests but for the algorithm on YouTube it works very good to put out guide content like that because it all brings in traffic to the channel there are surprisingly a lot of new people out there like me who never did those quests before so between that and Rogue Trader and Dune Spice Wars I am, I am maxed out Starting to ramp up to do two Rogue Trader hey videos there. a day right now. One guide and one playthrough. That's a week away. Safe travels. See you around. Alright, what do we got that's close to here? I guess back up to the hermit. It might be the same thing they have with um, mounts. Like, you can't use mounts indoors, so I wonder if they got the same blanket trigger covering it so that you can't do um, indoor spells. But I, hadn't, I haven't read the spell to see if that's the case. I'll have to try it again. It doesn't say that it can't be cast. Hey there. Ghost hair. Safe Bye. travels. I definitely could use a ring, so. Have a good one. Please hurry, the nights get cold and I need that drink to put fire in my veins. See you around. Zombie juice. So I suppose to make gear from this tier, I would need to go level in this tier, have a leather worker at classic tier. What if I have enough? I probably don't have enough gold because I spent a whole bunch of gold the other day. I spent like 8,000 gold. So I probably don't have enough left on my hunter to pay for mats if I wanted to do it that way. It's not a huge priority as soon as I get to content I get gear can I help you have a good one rot blossom okay we're back down there apparently I got mail Oh my god. Anniversary gift? <gasps> you thought of me? Well, thank you. XP bonus that I forgot to claim. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Let's see over here. I'll definitely say that if you do the um, Exile's Reach to Battle for Azeroth, I don't know when they started doing this, but the Battle for Azeroth... Um, 
you get so much gear it does spoil you compared to uh, the classic experience where gear is much more sparse in between. Yeah, no yawns allowed. Good luck. <laughs> Now see, I can cast it inside this time, so I don't know what that was when I couldn't cast it. Another level 70. Maybe the mob did something. Yeah, I just yeah, I need to pay more attention. I'm half asleep, so. Number three. No, we're not gonna do number three. We're going straight north right now. Turn in some quests. My fat ass Boonkin riding this poor Griffin. <laughs> Here's your rock blossom. See you later. See you around. Alright, so you zombie juice for the old man. Can I help you? Um It's green. Oh, I kinda but I kinda need rings. But it's green! 
Yeah, I could use the ring more. Be careful. Where do I want to... Okay, this improved Sunfire? Probably. Rank 1, rank 1, rank 1. Moonkin. Improved Sunfire. Yes. Oh, so nice. Oh, so nice. That's an AoE now. I can dig it. I've looked at add-ons, but they I haven't seen anything that's going to work the way I want it to work. Somebody recommended something the other day, and I don't remember what it was, and they were like, but you got to be careful because it's always going to accept the first reward that's offered. And it's like, well, I don't want something that's going to be wonky. I want something that's going to work the way I want, and so far this works exactly the way I want. So, like, it does me, I'm literally at my desk. Like, it takes literally no effort for me to move my hand over to my mouse and I am seamlessly using the mouse instead of the controller zero issues with that so I see no reason to go try to find an add-on to try to configure to try to make something work better that already works for me so hello like literally this takes no time Quick commercial break, everyone, to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time. Really appreciate the support. All you got to do is join as a member. You get access to private videos. You can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see. And beyond that, don't forget we're multi-streaming over on Twitch now, so you can support over there as well. Thanks so much to everybody. Let's get back to the video at hand. See you later. Old man's leg warmers. Cool, we're gonna get some upgraded legs. See you around. It's like here's here's the funny one, and I haven't made a video about this, so you know what? We're gonna do we're gonna do the discussion right now, and I'm gonna timestamp this out so that we can we can pull this out for YouTube. Fifty-four minutes. So this this addiction <laughs> that people have to add-ons. Some of them are useful. I loved Bagnon in um, Classic. It was very good. But here's the one that I find really interesting because there is an add-on for World of Warcraft which adds voiceovers. I think it's only in Classic, but they, they it does voiceovers. It's AI, and it reads through all the dialogue, and it, and it does pretty good voiceovers for everything and I see all of these people promoting it and using it a lot of them in their streams um, and these are the same people who a year ago were talking about solidarity with artists and down with AI art and you know also backing the Screen Actors Guild and the Writers Guild of down with AI no AI for you know copying an actor's appearance and using it in perpetuity no AI to replace writers down with AI I see all of these people promoting all of these anti-AI stuff on their social media and talking about it in their streams and everything but they love the AI that gives them voiceovers in World of Warcraft and I'm like you do realize the hypocrisy of that right because talented voice actors could be paid to read this dialogue but instead you're using an AI. Now one could argue on the other side of the equation that well World of Warcraft doesn't have any voiceovers in the first place, so I'm not taking I'm not taking work away from voice actors because World of Warcraft has never used voice actors to do dialogue like this. And there may be some aspects to that argument which are valid, 
But the greater picture is if you are against AI in practice, then you should begin against AI, you know, infinitum, like end of discussion. That's a very, very interesting one to me um, because when you talk about AI in any sort of creative environment for voice actors, for writers, for actors, um, not that add-on. The add-on that I've seen people using, I don't know the name of it. If I find the name of it, I'll put it in the description text of this video when I when I when I put this up on YouTube. Um, but there is I've I've seen several streamers using it. It's a very good. It's a very good um, immersive AI that, that that does all this voice dialogue and stuff. Um, you'd be surprised. Uh, AI is not. It's not really monotone. They've got all sorts of, of different um, voices and everything. The AI is pretty intelligent. There are moments when you can tell that it's an AI because it'll read words wrong. Um, but it's honestly, it's probably a 90%. I've, what I've seen so far, 85 to 90% flawless experience with a couple of hiccups that make you go, you know what? It's, it's, it's pretty close. It's, it's getting really close. And it is really cool. I get that. But at the same time, um, it's the idea that if you're going to be against AI in other arenas, you should probably be against it here too because of the fact that it's the same conversation about why. Because if that's if that's the next step, the logical next step after that is game studios getting a voice actor to come in and do lines of dialogue for one specific expansion and then they use that voice actor's voice in perpetuity through AI for all future expansions without paying that voice actor um, any residuals or anything like that and that's something that I think is uh, yeah there's I'm a big fan of making sure that we get everybody monetized fairly which will take some of those millions and millions and millions that get paid to the top dogs and spread those out a little more equally amongst all the people who are making this content in the first place. It was very it was very interesting watching from the outskirts anyway, the writer's strike and the actor's strike, because two of the big things for me, and I'm not in either one of those arenas with those people because um, all of my writing and everything is independent, but um, I think that um, the idea that you could come on set for a day and then the studio has the right to, in perpetuity, forever, use your likeness as an extra or as background filler anywhere they want in any film they want for all time is fucking ridiculous. There is no way that that should ever be allowed. And the same thing with um, wanting to put AI in, in writer's rooms and, and, and stuff. I think that there is a place for AI. I use AI, but I use it for rough drafting. I use it for script ideas. I use it for YouTube content creation ideas. I use ChatGPT in a lot of different ways, but I use it as a tool to get me to the end. I don't rely on it as the replacement of what I do. Um, and that's what a lot of the studios were trying to do was replace people with AI. Um, and that should never happen. And it, hopefully it never will, but I mean, the, the technology will get better over time. But I definitely see a place for it in any workplace because it is an amazing tool. Um, but um, I think that uh, it's, it's an interesting conversation to have when you think about it, to be against it for artists and writers and actors, but yet we're okay with it in voice acting in other games. Anyway, that's a side rant. I'm going to pull this out on YouTube so that we have a greater discussion to, to chat about. Um, welcome to my TED Talk. If this is your first time tuning in, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. We are going to be continuing the stream, of course. Onwards and upwards.